Well, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Hey, yes, sir, Mighty Lieutenant Drakeel at your service. And where's my helmet? But the other one? There we go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, a bit of a slapdash start because, well, for some reason, the game decided it wants to be full screen again and it messed up my icons in the background, of course. And yeah, just people who saw the pre stream, it got stuck on loading to the options. So, yeah. Like, this game is good, but there are some things about it that just make it feel like it's just <laughs> hanging together with duct tape. It, it, unless it's working more proper, it's more cooperative than the other one. Yeah. Anyways, last time we got started on the Ancient Gods DLC, and now we're going to continue it. Or did we did we start, or did we... Was that another one back? Did we start the last time? Or was it last time the third episode? For this one? Uh, I'm forgetting now, and let me double check. Okay, I did put on Do Not Disturb mode for once. And yeah, we're back in uh, <laughs> Heaven Gone to Hell. Where we're going to, well, awaken the Dark Lord and kick his fat ass. Uh, then again, we, we're we going to kick his ass, no matter what size it is. Uh, let's see, that way to head. Okay, we have no armor. Should be good on ammo. Alright. Oh yeah, this stupid little thing again. There. There. Well, Vega slash the father isn't aware that uh, <laughs> we're going, what we're planning. And hello, there, Glacier Boy. How are you doing today? Hello, Glacier Boy. Uh, why is it pointing this way? Uh, uh. Uh, the fight is this way, game. Why are you pointing me back? Okay. So either those have statues in them or, or they have drones in them. Okay, what? Okay, what? <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm starting to... I'm starting to agree with people that there is just something about these DLCs that is just wrong. And, well, case in point, this, we've passed the checkpoint, what more do we need to do? Uh. It, it, if anyone had a story going on, oh, well, there it does go. feel a bit rush. Mm. Oh, hello, Samuel, or some more. Samuel? Samuel? Your reckless mission ends now. Okay, so that's what happens when they transmogrify. been wanting to kick your ass since 2016, so let's get to that. Oh dear. Uh, Glitch Boy, good things. And you? I'm doing well. That's up to you, And I think Hitler's going to be very, very happy once he defeats some of her. Okay, now those eyeballs with electric fields around them. That take a hell of a lot of, of beating from the looks of it. Or maybe... Okay, they're weak against the ballista. Okay. 
Okay, okay you're just going to keep spawning these little jackasses, aren't you, huh? Get up. There. Okay, you're not so tough. Okay, that deals with him in one If I can hit, that is. Come on! Let's see, Simura. When Simura activates a spirit shield, kill the spirits to make him vulnerable. Come on, really? Just... There, ghost bust this. At least... Oh, come on, a new one spawns. Okay, just... Fine. Let's just have ourselves a cookout. Is that enough? Yep, just enough. Okay. Ah, here we go. Oop. Oh, come on! Get back here, Squid Pigeon. Squid Pigeon. And he has a shield up. Double push. Double push. No, no, not double push. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Nose. Really? Okay, this, this, this is going to turn this into a minion master still situation. Oh dear. This is from Glitch Boy. It is Tyranny Slanashi Long Child looking. But. <laughs> okay, that's a description. Now we got lasers. Yeah. There. Yeah, I had heard that there was one boss fight in this DLC. That was egregiously bad in comparison. And I'm guessing we found it. Or maybe not, but the prelude to the... the Because when you're fighting, you're, when you're thinking Doom, you're not thinking kick some uh, jackass's pet, uh, pets just to get a few hits in on him. Like, come on, do your thing. Fuck off. Okay, where are you? Ooh, he's taking damage. Not a question is. I do a bit here. I can ask this old question after this boss fight. Yep. <laughs> Still got him. You now you What do you summon now? another one of those then uh, yeah. yeah this is I would say this is not a good boss fight because we're mostly dealing with the freaking extras or the extras are a bigger threat than Samur actually is.
there's one thing you want your boss fights not to be, it's annoying. Is that a common trend on many in the games? Ugh. Yeah, I think this is the I think this is the boss fight people were talking about. That they really, yeah, I, really hate. Yeah. Cook you. I have not seen this boss fight. So my introduction to this might have been mostly thanks to press talks or loss or I and they cut that out. out. I have seen the first part of that for the base game. Yeah, when the okay, now to cut something in half. Thank you for your donation. Uh, like I said, it's okay to make a bunch of challenging, but it should not be annoying. Yeah. Like, it's only minor annoying, or mildly, it's fine, but, but it's outright like just... He it should never so reach the painful. All I command would remove me from this place. It is not required that you end his life. Your mission here is now your own. Okay. I very much doubt that's the last we'll see of him. Don't tell me there's more s'mores. The consequences of your actions here are irreversible. Now we're just doing what you should have done eons ago. Okay. <laughs> well, at least I was yeah. right about wrong one thing that we were at the end of the first part. Oh yeah. No, I can see. I can, it, it, this one of that book makes sense, but also in a disappointing way. In a way, like, it makes sense that, that uh, he would take the ship or the thing that the, the demons fear the most. I think it's less the shape and. Or, or, Hmm, or yeah, I I think it is. Hmm. Okay, this could be this could have to do with the timey wimey stuff because we know with the uh, uh, with the lore that was talking about that the Doomslayer was supposed to be running around since the dawn of hell. So we thought we thought it was uh, we thought that it was always talking about our guy, but could it be that? It was actually him, the Dark Lord that they were talking about, or something. No, 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 no. 
sense if you do, you do later in the video, next game. For there be some plot twist you'll be surprised over. Okay. But I can see now, after, after seeing this full picture now, I can see why people... Like, it has some good qualities to it, but it, there are all, all the things that feel like they... It should have taken a bit more time to polish a thing through. Yeah, I'll dip. We're going to continue, of course, with the second half. Uh, but after this, I'm definitely going to look at the uh, TV tropes about what the hell they think is going on and all that. But yeah, yeah. A, a Dark Slayer? Hmm. And also, I think you want to read chats. Yeah. Samur sounds like a chain smoker trying to get phlegm out of their throat while he speaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was <laughs> mutating it. And I, I guess we now know why they fear that transmogrification so much. Because basically it's a... Yeah, basically they become fallen angels. And well, we've seen how uh, obsessed the makers are with their image of divinity and such. Okay, just going to let this run for now. And yeah. yeah. I can now finally ask you this question. If I may. Yeah. I want you to name your three favorite weapons in this game. Uh, chain gun, uh, super shotgun, and then probably... Uh, just <laughs> the, the rocket launcher. Oops. Voice actors? Alright. I think I can see why the chain gun. Yeah, and the super shotgun for obvious reasons. Do I will admit, the rocket launcher is, looks, those looks kind of badass and kind of unique. Yeah, plus with its lock on, it's good at taking down something fast. <laughs> Glacier boy. Oh, he was definitely a fallen angel. Looks straight up deep fried. <laughs> Uh, now we know what happens when you deep fry an, an, an angelic pigeon. Or a, a divine pigeon. Oh, Whatever. Uh, now remember from uh, Darksiders, the, our favorite character there, we called the Angel's Pigeons. <laughs> oh, uh, pain. I wonder how a crossover between Doom and Darksiders would go. Oh, bloody heck, I don't dare to guess, but I do hope that they are still developing the new Dogs had a game. Yeah, we, we need a conclusion for that game, so, to that series sometime now. Yeah, the last time I heard is that it would have the option to do full player co-op. And let's see. Glacier Boy, also Drakir, I see you're trying to swallow your disco ball again. What? What disco ball? Oh, and something we both but something we both blanked on. Thank you for the follow, Mugster Tutorial. Oh yeah, thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, we, we we both noticed it before stream, and we both still forgot to mention it. That all happened, like killing fallen angels, demons, zombies, giving yeah. Glacier Boy his cookie. Okay. Mm. And, Hina, do you see a disco ball on me? Uh, no, the closest thing would be the beard. <laughs> uh. yeah, there's a disco ball in my visor. I don't see it then. <laughs> I, I think I, I see there's something, something shining on my helmet, but I think it's, it's not a disco ball, but I do think it might be an optical illusion of one that yes it just shines to the hell of it and maybe mistaken for one okay hmm and that's not my leading theory also the reason i'm looking away to hear this uh, is because we have uh, one of our old co-commentators quote unquote uh, back because inky is sleeping in the windowsill oh hello inky uh, yeah, as, as sad as it was to have to put the old cat down, um, 
it does seem to have restored a lot of confidence in the other cats. Plus, they can move around a lot more because, well, we have to keep the door closed. So the old, <laughs> so the old cat didn't try to go up the stairs and fall down and such things. So they have a lot more freedom oh, again. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> at least we gave her a good last few years. So we can take at least some pride in that. Pride, yeah. solace. I, I guess what you mean. Yeah. Okay, this is going on a little bit long. Yeah, I, I have no idea if there is a final scene of this or not. And I don't think... That wasn't in the base game, I think that wasn't in 2016, so I don't think they, they really started with that. But you never know. I think it's more of yeah. a movie game thing and... Okay, loud scooter going by. <laughs> Dining room manager. I just realized... When was this release? Uh, let me do a quick look. Uh, da, 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 da. Doom Eternal... Tag 1. Yes, because the Ancient Gods <laughs> shortens the tag. <laughs> I don't think we'd want to see the Slayer play tag. Oh dear gods! Let's see. <laughs> Released in 2020. So oh. could have had could have had uh, interference from a certain thing. We all know <laughs> that is well, yeah. like hindsight, 2020. But it, it might most, have uh, done something. Yeah, but most of the development would have been happening beforehand. Could have, uh, it? It would explain why yeah. there's less detailing. Yeah, it it might still have a cost enough effect for them to not give give it the needed final polish it needed. Yeah. For is it may still release 2020. No, we're not knowing when in 2020 released. It can tell a lot for it. Those final months can do a lot. Uh, October 20. Oh. So oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of time <laughs> for things to go wrong then. Yeah, okay, I'll uh, I'll lower my criticism of the game a bit for that. Uh, yeah, like, but on the it, other hand, they could have waited. Cool. Yeah, I said, I said it before. Oh, with some games released during the pandemic, I am willing to cut some slack for it. Did a lot of movies and series and games from harm. Yeah, but on the Especially flip side of that, studios. I. Yeah, on the flip side of that, I'd say that they could have uh, wait. They could have kept it. Uh, they could have kept it close for a bit longer and just released it later after some more work, but yeah. Deadlines and all that. Can't really... You can't blame the developers for deadlines and such. Uh, you can only blame the, uh, yeah, the corporate for deadlines. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Okay, looks like someone has half woken up since they set up a bit still laying down uh, how long have you been at this soon for 10 minutes or something uh let's see timer all uh, right there it is. uh yeah we're just nearing half an hour of stream time now hold on a second oh yeah we were late on starting so Oh! Oh yeah, we, we finished that quickly, and now we have a very long end credit? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is going to take as long, but... as it took for us to get here, but... Uh, I'll take a look... <laughs> uh, afterwards, during the editing. Uh, let's see... Did I set my timer right? Yes. The timer in general should come down... Okay, that, that's the end. The timer should go... Or the full time for... From start to end of... Uh, when we start to close stream... Should be two hours and five minutes. Because of five minutes of pre-stream. And two hours of stream. 
Okay. Missed a support rune somewhere. The game feels... The feels a bit inconsistent because at first it said that the uh, support runes would be hidden behind the Slayer Gate. But we found that's two now that's be not behind Slayer Gates or something, I think. And <laughs> really, you, you Patriot skin. Okay. Well then. Uh, again, we, we cut it some slack due to the pandemic. For, I see people reading Bajon games while forgetting that some of them were worked on during a pandemic that really made it hard. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Also on Too Young to Die, just because, well, that 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 fight with Simu would have been an utter pain in the neck if it had been higher difficulty. Yeah. Nope. Bloody heck. Hmm. The war against evil continued as the Slayer resurrected the Dark Lord himself in an act of defiance against the Makers. Leaving the heavens in ruins, the Slayer must now survive the treacherous journey to Imora, the capital city of Hell, to face the Dark Lord in ritual combat. So, uh, they ju <laughs> he just noped out immediately after? If the Slayer is victorious, any demons outside of Hell would be destroyed and all connections to the Dark Realm would be severed. If he loses, the Dark Lord and his armies will rule all. So, yeah, all or nothing. Oh, here we... Uh, you want some pants? Voice on him. Our time will come. If you survive, I will be waiting for you at the city of Enora. Okay, that explains. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe you should have thought that a bit more through, Slayer. Then again, he could have been thinking it was more of a metaphorical, no blood can be spilled. And the heck is... Yes, yes, shut up. Uh, is that something that... You must power the gate of Devoom with the Wraith's crystal and pass through to where the Dark Lord resides. He is waiting for you. Oh, now I uh -oh. I get it now. We're on Agenta. You and uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, been speared like uh, <laughs> an olive. They're not going to be happy to see us here. Let's, can we start this off with the? Uh, 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 no, uh, apparently not. Uh, and it set things. Uh, okay, that was <laughs> that was completely an accident. Runes. Remove this one. Uh, glory kill. Speed boost. Uh, let's let's drink. Crazy boy, make sure he doesn't die. Uh, let's see. Stagger time. Yep. Yes, come on. Yep. Move that one out. Uh, survive briefly on death, yes. And then the last one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one. Yep. There. Okay, and for this one we have... Uh, let's... No. Extra life. Yeah, weak points. That's... Okay. All of our upgrades. All of our upgrades. Okay. Let's see. Okay, no boop to start us off, for bonk, but okay. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. That should have been 102, I think. My count is probably off again. Uh, let's see, Glacier Boy, now you gotta fight the in-game version of Satan. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> right? Uh, there's your bomb, and I'm back. Welcome back. back again. Him. Let's see. Light the torch of kings. Okay. Uh, uh, ah, there. Okay. Okay, not going that way. Um, ah, there. Okay, just wait for that to go off. No hidden things, no hidden things. That's a really... Who put this thing here? Okay. Uh. Oh. Oh, meat hook grapple point. Use the super shotgun's meat hook on grapple points to traverse the world. Aim at a grapple point and press the 8 button. Push yourself in the opposite direction of the grapple point to, de to generate the momentum needed to round corners. Okay. So. Is this moment we, we should have gotten a power sound sound effect? A what sound effect? Tarzan. Oh, Tarzan is the, the yell. Okay, push up the up. A R T E. Yeah, I can. Did I almost <laughs> myself misspell it? <laughs> Maybe. It almost didn't make that. Okay. That's a red throat sound. Okay. okay, that could get interesting, could also get infuriating. And was something trying to shoot at us there? Oh, oh hello. Screecher. Screecher zombie is a fragile enemy who temporarily buffs all demons in the area when killed. Buff. Okay. Temporarily, though. Yeah, so go for everything except for those. Yeah, but it, I said it, that's a better idea than the totems and the reworked uh, orc while. Yeah. There. Like, if you actually have to kill one, put ammo or out. At least the buff is only temporary. Yeah. This this is a much better idea than the buff totems, I'd say. Or at least in how the buff totems have been used. It, because this... Now we have to be... Now you can't just randomly fire everywhere. Get lost, you... Actually, just there. Not my target. But I'll take you all the same. A lot of pudding for everyone. Yep. There we go. Don't mind me. Yep. Okay. Okay, for a moment I thought another freaking Marauder was incoming. Okay, that, that double Marauder bit from last time was a bit of a bullshit move. 
but they could have done it worse if they'd been buffed or something. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it kind of made sense in a way. Like, yeah, escalation and all that. But what is your opinion on Marauders otherwise? They are good. Uh, they they are they basically make themselves the highest priority target. There is it. Uh, stupid. Okay. Oh, these ones, they block? Wait. Okay. Doesn't matter if these guys are blocked, they are actually still easy to kill. Oh. So, oh, um, I think he's coming it's to the, the forefront. Demon. Yes, yes, hello to you too. Then <laughs> you're interrupting a bit, Ink. And off she goes. Uh, no, she's on the floor somewhere. Uh, uh, now I know where she is. She is at my feet because she wants... <laughs> she wants to be scratched with feet. Wait, don't tell me you have your shoes on. I don't have them on. For some reason, she really likes it. Ew, ew. For some reason, she really wants... She likes it. You know, look, look. Likes to be a uh, scratch with toes. There. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm blind on logic there. Yeah, I have no idea why either. Yeah. Uh, actually, wasn't that Toto that I actually better than the others? Uh, uh, hello, Armored Baron. Um, I'm a bit... I'm a bit twisted on that. Because like, for once in this case, they didn't respawn. Like, aren't they supposed to be respawning infinitely? Or was this just a kill gauntlet? Uh, yeah. Pretty much, but it took them, buffs them. Autobot is the one that's summoning them. As yeah. buffed. Infinitely. Uh, I'll need to double check on um, if I just got things wrong or something. <laughs> Lazy boy, I'm sorry, what about toes? Uh, yeah, it, Ink for some reason likes to just lay down under my desk at my feet and just get uh, <laughs> scratched and rubbed by my feet. So, yeah, it, it's a cat with a foot fetish. Okay. Armored Baron. Can only be killed after his army armor has been destroyed. Use the plasma rifle to slowly break and destroy his armor over time, or shoot his mace when it flashes green to destroy it instantly. But it will regenerate. Okay. These what I did not know of. Okay, it will reform even if you are actively fighting. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, no, 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 but the, the, the totems. They both enemies, but they, they, you always had to run a bloody gauntlet labyrinth to cap to destroy them before you could destroy a demon who was so overpowered buffered. Okay, Armored Baron, shoot the mace when it flashes green, to detonate it, destroy the armor, Plasma Rifle can quickly destroy the armor, Microwave Mod is most effective, use a Sentinel Hammer Slam when its armor is destroyed to daze it and extend its vulnerability. Sentinel Hammer? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Glacier Boy. <laughs> That's not a sentence I think I'd ever hear about a cat. <laughs> Let's see. The Armored Barons are grafted with the technology of Imora. Uh, just outside the city gates, they patrol with Morningstar gauntlets cursed by the Dark Lord himself. One uh, devastating strike obliterates both body and soul. Even the Makers fear these congregations of demon and machine, for their carnage is both relentless and unquenchable. Okay, and whilst we're at it, let's see Buff Totem. Uh, we'll continue to spawn... Okay, okay, it's not that it, they will... It, 
respawn, oh. but they will spawn. Uh, yeah, it will keep spawning them. Right. Mm. So I guess they made a different one here. Uh, have we ever read this one actually? In carnal manifestations of human suffering, these totems are formed from the tortured resonance of the ones living, made flesh by the black arts of demonic uh, psychomancy. A beacon of necroplasmic uh, uh, dark wave energy, the, uh, the buff totem, once fully formed, radiates the surrounding environment with a dark cloud of hell and magic. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, this energy possesses influence of greater power of, of great power for anything uh, living caught in its wake demons while in its presence become adrenalized their aggressiveness and bloodlust amplified inversely these totems have become symbols of fear for humans who have encountered them its presence tainting the mind with the nightmare's terror the propagation of these totems would ultimately ne uh, necessitate the development of the arc mind shield a cyber neural implant which could immunize its soldiers from the psionic properties of the buff totem. Okay. So we had it a little bit wrong, but yeah, I I think we were just I think I was at least assuming that they would basically respawn immediately. And creature zombies. Let's see. Playing the street chair will cause it to temporarily buff all other demons in the arena. Uh, are stronger, faster, and harder to kill. Avoid killing this creature while more powerful demons are still alive. The creatures were once human worshippers of the Velatha Va uh, Vatum, an ancient hell cult, but instead of being rewarded for their devotion, they were tortured in the citadel of anguish for millennia. They became malformed by their frustrations of the long lived deceit. Their blood curdling, uh, curdling uh, screams of anger had fermented into something far more potent, an intoxicating power desired by all demon kinds. Oh. 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 So there's quite a story behind them. Yeah. Go. Nothing in the area. <laughs> nice try. And goodbye. Uh, I, I thought it was a switch, but no. Who's here? Who's here? Okay, a bit slow on the draw there, dudes. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay, that was a bit over. Come on. Come on, try your poke. And your armor privilege has been revoked. Did it do some sort of beam with it this time? I think so. It just hose you down. There we go. go. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Ah. Them, I mean, lost them. I don't think we saw any prowlers during the la uh, during the last bits. 
But if they were there, they were rare. Who was he actually? is going back and forth. Mayor. Okay, I'm pretty sure we already have the Doom Hunter in the Codex game. Of course, I gave it time to restore. Come here. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's for me from Flash Boy. I'm gonna head off. Hope you two have more fun. And make sure Drakir behaves and doesn't want more disc. I'm not eating this kebabs. Please, <laughs> uh, see you next time. Uh, thank you for joining. Go. Okay. The game seems rather inconsistent about that sometimes. Like, in other cases, when the big you know, zombies are done with, the zombies just fall over. But in some cases, they seem to be counted as threats enough to keep the place locked up. Because there was that forest field over there. Hello? Any goodies? Yeah. There's BFG ammo over that way, but we're heading down. All the same, I think. Any hints as to how to get that? Or is there a switch or something nearby? Yeah, that's needed that much. Yeah, okay, I thought there was going to be some one of those meat hook things. The heck was... What the hell was that? Not these. Oh. What are, was that the sound of these things respawning or something to keep forming a line? Uh, yeah, that, that is the sound of them respawning. Huh. Huh. Oh, hello, Revenant. And goodbye, Revenant. Okay, I was expecting it to pop off behind me there. Hey. Where's that all you weaklings? Remote detonation. Oh. No. There.
we go. Okay, this time the zombies were disregarded. It, it is, it's just inconsistent. Let's see, it's a grapple point, but it's locked. Yeah, at least we have an idea what might have happened. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have G ammo. Okay, was that needed or that was just a trap? Okay. Um what to do then game? I think that's locked, well, so we can't use it. Shopping. It looks like the corporate uh, corporate market is closed. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, come oh. on. Yeah, one complaint I'd seen in the reviews on Steam was have fun in small corridor fighting getting stun locked. Yep, damn it. Shut up, you. Okay. Oh, hello. Good night. There we go. Okay, that, that's from the barrel respawning thing. <laughs> Case in point. Okay. There. Okay. And more of uh, Bowser's <laughs> exterior decorating. Okay. Am I the one who thinks those look out of place for the Doom games? Uh, a little bit, but I think that's in part because Mario has basically uh, monopolized uh, fire bars. Flying fire bars. I just feel like uh, these being fire traps in this way, they should just not been here? But I guess... I guess this is my problem with them. They... It, they, they are there... Them being here just screams this is a game. A bit too much. If that makes sense. Uh... I guess, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is going to start another fight like this, huh? Okay, I better not be a buff totem this time. This is a case of uh... <laughs> oh, so they, they pop like soda bottles. Oh. 
I know is what you mean. Wait. Yep, there's the big boys. Okay, yeah, yeah um, I, 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 I gotta, I gotta ban you from Sodas if you ever visit Sweden. No. It does have your pop soda bottles. There have many reasons. <laughs> okay. Then I'm worried what the heck you will do with a can. Yeah, the ground is covered in that poop that doesn't let us jump. Going to avoid this creature. Uh, don't oh. you can't burn them and freeze them. And they don't actually look that different from normal ones. There are some small differences. Well, beside it. Yep. Oh, come on! Hello. Near you. It's a heavy rain of uh, plasma. <laughs> Demons are encouraged to take cover. <laughs> and hide Run and cower. <laughs> nope, out of fuel. Roll up the <laughs> angry metal cloud of anger at your own dress. <laughs> Signature from Commander Valen. Commander Valen? Also glad to see you back, intern. <laughs> oh, wait, Commander Valen, wasn't that the Night Sentinel leader? Hello. You may request him. My son's curse has been lifted. Oh. Right, yeah. And I atone for my sins. Wait, you got killed sometime at some point then? Oop. Use the sentinel hammer to daze demons and refill your ammo. <laughs> hammer demons in groups to maximize resources dropped. <laughs> okay. To fill its meter, destroy weak points and glory kill demons. Okay. Okay, Sentinel Hammer, press V to daze near... Okay, yeah, it replaces the Crucible. Hammer time! Dun, 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 dun. Oh. In, in addition to giving ammo, the ha Sentinel Hammer also boosts the effect of your equipment. Combo the Sentinel Hammer with Ice Bomb to boost health drops. Combo with, with Flame Belts to boost armor drops. Okay, uh... Why not both? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot of armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, one thing on the... Uh, on the bars being very gamey, those tutorials are also very gamey. Uh, so... Uh, Oh, come spirits again. Oh dear God. I just had a, a weird idea. No. Yeah. Stop have a time about instead of say dun 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 or whatever that sound they do. I just used the bonk sound for the, the rhythm. 
Okay, where's the spirits? Okay, I'm guessing the spirit is going to... <laughs> okay. Did we just... I think I just played a bit of golf <laughs> with the Kaka Demon. That we are sight to behold. I'm looking for something to carve in half for ammo. You'll do. Yeah, don't forget about the hammer. Okay, you're possessed. There. One exorcism. Or exorcism. Yep. Coming up. Big boy. We haven't gotten that many glory kills on tyrants, typically because. Well, I just hose them down and they get killed before I can actually come in and grab them. Yeah, nope, but they're all so terribly strong and all that. There's another one to play with. Okay, that's a charge for the hammer. That blew up in my face. In here. Okay, there we go. Uh, this way. Okay. That, that was a good little fight. Yeah. Stone Imp? Okay. <laughs> the Stone Imp is resistant to most weapons. It's vulnerable to... Okay. Full auto, shotgun, and sentinel hammer. Okay. Kill it with full auto to gain... Okay, I'm guessing they're putting this in because, well, I'm pretty sure nobody used the full auto shotgun. Because, well, between grenade launcher and super shotgun, are you really going to put your ammo in that? Or use your ammo like that? Oh dear. Hammer time. Okay, we can even control it a little bit once we take off. Okay, that I like. Okay, with this amount, I might actually... There. 
Yeah, they are just a recolor, but they do function a little bit different. Really? Get that tanky thing. Sort of. I'd say, yeah, it's kind of tanky for imps is would probably be correct. Yeah. Okay, they are a bit different, but they're not an annoyance. Yeah, that's the sound of those responding. Okay. Yeah, those... Okay, I thought it was a punch pad. <laughs> okay. Travel 850 meters with the meat hook? Okay. This is the torch of kings. Lighting it signifies to all that a warrior seeks passage to the world sphere. Hmm, we're going to need a match then. Uh, or not. Okay, we're still due some respect, it seems, here. Since... Seeing as this place wasn't too happy with us uh, <laughs> with, during our last visit. The corrupted priests forbid the use of this beacon. If there are any remaining free tribes left in Argentinor, all will see this light and know what your mission is here. We are still a day's walk away from the world spear. I don't think we're going to need to walk. <laughs> and now the Slayer is a Dragon Rider. Uh, watch out, Rakan. Here comes the Order of Doom. That's the that's the symbol. The only one who wants this mission accomplished. If you defeat the Dark Lord, any demon outside of Hell would be destroyed. Okay, what was with that thing uh, having the Slayer symbol on his forehead? Or is it more the Dark Lord symbol, and that we've basically taken it over? Hello. No idea. It could also be his original mount when he was in service here. There we go, just break some snowmen. Or snow pinkies. Low on ammo, ignore social distancing. Uh, I, I can't be the only one thinking when these things do that attack that <laughs> there's big. I can't be the only one thinking Geodude uses rollouts. <laughs> They're, they're, they're somersaulting in a straight line towards us. <laughs> it's like they're using that Pokemon move rollout. Uh, 
the full thing. You you made a Pokemon reference. All right, I. I just want to the extra coffee. Extra strong. Yeah, sir. I did not think of that one. <laughs> Yeah. Holy! Well, I move on health. Not good. Uh, yeah. Not good. Not good. Okay, big guns. Just need something. There. No, oh, come on! Thank you. You just look to be stuck up there, aren't you? No, no, here I am. He has the high ground. <laughs> so let's kick him off the high ground and become the new king of the hill. Uh, wait. Hill! The king of the hill! Um... Yeah, that has a weird, weird ring to it, hasn't it? <laughs> Never actually watched that show, King of the Hill, but I hear it is pretty good. Wait, what? There's a show? Yeah. Called King of the Hill? A sitcom. I did not know that. A, sit a comedy familiar. sitcom. Oh, that's a phrase. There we go. I didn't know there was a show. Yep. Last and the best. Uh, okay, one thing I really don't like is how when you, if you want to get, the blunt punch takes that armor off immediately, but the, that inevitably means that they get that AOE off, just annoying. Okay. And I forgot to use the hammer during all of that, okay. Was the Nether Lake? Yeah. There we go. Hello, boys. And goodbye. Okay. Three bursts. But three bursts. All right. Yeah, bursts. That's right. Give me a moment. There. There we go. What the heck am I yawning already for? Okay, that was two double lives. Uh, yep, yeah, two extra lives. These are rare items. Oop, hello. World Spear. Oops, something new here. Oh, the steps. Uh, let's see. The World Spear is a cosmic crystal of unknown origin that pierced the planet of Arja de Nur from pole to pole ages ago. The mysterious shard is surrounded by steps that are home to the scattered tribes of the Argenti warriors who seceded during the Sentinel Civil War. See History of the Sentinels Part 12. 
Abandoned settlements remain within the wilderness, a vestige of the old villages that were called by the corrupted armies of the north during the conflict. The path to the World Spear can be found through the old roads near these settlements, though no one has made the journey in centuries. It was written that one day a mighty warrior would return to seek out the spear and the power it holds. His passage proclaimed uh, to all by the torch of kings. Okay. And the World Spear. I'm guessing we're at the south the southern pole then, since, well, armies of the north, uh, it is the opposite. We're... Okay, I accidentally tapped over my phone who was standing next to the... Uh, where is... Uh, uh, there it is, the standard. It's one of those uh, foldy things you can put your phone into. But it's also a bit easy to tip over if you're not paying attention, like me. Of course. Let's see. <clears throat> the World Spear sparked life across the dormant planet of Arjunanor millions of years ago, arriving mysteriously from the depths of space and crashing into the planet with enough force to pierce it from pole to pole. Soon after impact, the angelic creatures who would come to be known as Wraiths emerged, beings of immense power that spread across the world as their magic bled into the land and seeded life throughout. It is a mystery if the spear freed the raids from within the planet or if they arrived on the spear itself. The power of the raids gave life to the people of Arjunanur, who came to worship them along with the world spear, considering it a holy relic. Power continues to flow from the spear, infusing the nearby lands with magic and mutating wildlife into powerful beasts. A life wraith has not been seen in centuries, but rumors persist that some yet remain inside the world spear itself. A cavernous crater surrounds the enormous spire, preventing access inside to unworthy travelers. Okay. Yeah, I think we only seen dead rapes in uh, 2016. Yeah. Or at the absolute least, best corrupted rates. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not smart to jump off. Secret found, but we're full on it anyways. That uh, reminds me. Okay, nothing here. I get the feeling I might have missed something in the previous bits. To be honest, I feel like these two DLCs had made it way too easy to miss, but also annoyingly took the lore as secrets, like, don't do that. Okay, we can't pass through those, but our bullets sure can. Okay, that was a fun little bit. Yep. There. Hmm. Hello. Okay, I'm guessing this one isn't optional. Well then, escalation encounters. Escalation encounters are encounters of two waves of increasing difficulty. Only the second wave is optional. Beating the first wave gives us ha Sentinel Hammer upgrades. Beating the second wave gives a cosmetic. Okay. Um, upgrade. Alright. You know what? Screw these guys. Yep. Oh, 
There we go, served snake. What was keeping me stuck? I think the top me was trying to eat you. Yeah, I, I think the third one was behind me without me noticing. Get us to <laughs> yep. Prowlers. Oop. Bounce. <laughs> Fatality. Oh, I just remembered something I should, should call it uh, Terry. Uh, the other day, in, I was uh, talking about uh, that I was to speed you today. Yeah. Yeah, this happened yesterday, actually. And uh, I mentioned your name, Ethelian. Okay. And German Lord, who I, I was with. Confessed to him, misheard it. What did he hear? Helium. <laughs> okay. Uh, and now I'm stuck in the video, so you try to play for the. Do uh, I had what Doom episode where you use a lot of helium. Yep. Okay, that's the first wave. Ammo boosts. Okay, drop more ammo. All right. This game is worse be slayer. Oh, hello there, Marco. Let's see. From Marco. I came here um, as fast as I could after I heard Dragon Sword and some disco bullet. What? It disc. Damn it. First disco balls, no disco bullets? Apparently. Anyways, how are you doing today, Marco? Oh, oh hello. Okay. Oh, Sentinel Hammer also destroys all blue energy shields. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, dramatic entrance. I, I, I actually feel I like this, this hammer more than the sword. Yeah, it, it's a bit more interesting than instant kill. A miss. From Marco. I don't know if, if it was balls or bullets, but those were my desserts. He's made okay. it over there. I just left them because I went to the toilet. I assume uh, Marco is on a phone that has a very evil autocorrect. 
Well, he's on his alt account, and that is the one on his phone. Okay. Hmm. Hold on a second. Which... Okay, that one is the one that announces the flame belt, or it is, signifies as flame belt. I only now just noticed that I didn't actually know which of the mode was. Like, Blood Punch is obvious, so I, actually, I, <laughs> I should have gone through process of elimination. It doesn't look much like a flame belt chase icon. Of Is course. this Bell's another word for both? Yeah, missiles for everyone. <laughs> Okay, three of these is a bit much game. There we go. At least I only put it with imps. And he has autocorrect turned off, apparently. Oh, oh, oh come on! Go. Bag him and bag him. Okay. <laughs> of course, it's the last one that takes him out. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. Oop. Yeah, that's a big ass uh, toothpick. For this olive. You really like olives, don't you? I actually don't. <laughs> My mother I does don't like either. them. Okay. I thought Vega slash father would be a little more upset with our plan, but I guess he does yeah, get why we're doing it. And I'm guessing this is what happened to the to the, the to the poles of this planet. They all got melted when a big ass rock smashed through them. How are you surprised that the planet did it collapse or break apart from all this? Yeah. More dragons. And that hole probably leads all the way down to the core. Okay, these must all have been added later on. Are we going to be dealing with another celestial faction of sorts here? Uh, hello. Okay.
I did not expect for the big stick or big rock to be uh, a colony ship of sorts. Okay. This is unlike anything we've ever encountered. Not even Erdak gave off readings like this. This, this all feels a bit aquatic with the rocks like this. Or maybe I'm just thinking a bit of ore from Guild Wars. Oh yeah, there, there, this, this was definitely a sort of ship. Funny shit that Guild Wars 2 also uh, got this expansion release, a new expansion release today. Uh, uh, the last one was End of Dragons, I believe. So, what is the new one? Uh, uh, yeah. I forgot. Something about the Secret Research Society. Okay. Of course. Stupid goop. <laughs> just happened there. I think I played and missed. We got zipped back to the start. Did I do something wrong or was that a glitch? Okay, that was my fault there. Oh, I am Jordan. Oh. Okay. I a thought that was just opening the door, door, but I think we need to get through here before that timer goes down. Oh. Or runs out. This isn't a crystal at all. It's a ship. Wait, these are Sarah. Is this a maker vessel? Wait, did these guys enter this ship afterwards to keep these ones contained? The crystal and the gatekeepers. In times of desperate need, sentinel shamans, uh, shamans would approach the world spear and bear their souls to be judged. The gatekeepers, silent guardian spirits, have stood watch over the entrance to the spear since it first arrived. These shamans... The, you know, deem, um, <clears throat> pardon? Those shamans deemed unworthy are swiftly cut down with divine strength. Those judged as worthy would return to their tribes bearing a shard of the spear itself, a piece of the ancient spire brimming with power. These crystals can be used to power advanced technology, providing a limitless energy source. It was said that the father himself used these shards to power the gate of the womb. Okay. Why are the... Oh. It look a bit different. Actually, they have horns this in here. Eyes. These are like uh, some more. What's with the horn? Uh, those are the uh, ele or... elemental raids. No, I don't think so. The raids were bigger than. Are those have wings and horns? Wait, hold on a second. Uh, we mentioned Darksiders before. What were the riders? Half demon, half uh, angel, Seraphim. So does that mean that the Seraphim are or were? Hmm. Okay, I'm hoping we get answers to what these are. Yes. We skipped one escalation round. Let's see. Re oh, reclaimed Earth. Hell's invasion of Earth has failed, and the Ark has led the human resistance in the fight to reclaim the yeah, yeah, reclaim the planet. The Slayer must locate the Gate of the Womb, an ancient artifact of the Father's design, within the ruins of an overgrown city. 
Once activated, the path to remora will be open. Okay. So we're not going to get answers as to what the hell was in the the divine spear ship. This looks a bit like Crisis Three. You have the key to the gate of Devom. I will mark its location. This is the only way into the most ancient part of Hell. The Dark Lord will be there waiting for you. Let's see. Hell's recent invasion of Earth was stopped by the Slayer, the blood ritual of conquest undone by the death of the Hell Priest and the defeat of the Icon of Sin. Cities remain largely empty, with survivors of the war having moved to safe zones and underground bunkers. Emboldened by the Slayer's triumph over the forces of evil, the battle to reclaim Earth is nearly complete as soldiers and citizens serve equally to take back their homes. The Ark has led resistance efforts in coordinated assaults to purge the remaining demons from Earth, striking back with relentless force after Hal's failed invasion. Can't blame him. Oh, hello. Save your eyes. I feel Maybe halfway through this DLC. Yeah, and we're about to end, and we're about to run on the end. Okay. Looks like there's going to be, looks like uh, <laughs> the Slayer is going to become a religious figure. The people of Earth have come to view the Doom Slayer as a savior, a hero who fought to free their worlds from the clutches of hell itself. The legend of the Slayer has been spread among survivors of the war, broadcast on emergency radio frequencies, and used as a symbol of resistance against the demons. Prophets proclaim that all, uh, to all that the Slayer has brought his uh, war to hell itself. The people of Earth offer their prayers for his victory as they spread his sigil and raise his banner, inspired to fight back by his deeds. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this gives me big Crisis 3 vibes. First Prowler. Let's see. If you are hit by the Cursed Prowler, you become cursed. You will take damage over time and will be unable to dash or target with lock on. When Cursed Blood Punch the Cursed Prowler to kill it and remove the effects. Okay, that is going to be a bitch. Oh no. Oh no! That's it. it uh, disables your dash, you cannot target. A binding curse of an aquatic poison drips from the claws of the cursed prowler like venom. Known in hell to be one of the most treacherous forms of blood magic, only few have the teachings to conjure such, such sorcery. Yet prowlers from the deepest and darkest hell pits have evolved, have evolved to naturally produce such power from their fingertips. One swipe curls the blood of their victim and drains them of their essence with each heartbeat. The only way to cease the curse is to cease, these, <laughs> to cease the caster. Oh boy. I mean, I know why I'm yawning and sleep already. Mm. I guess we started... Actually, no. We still have uh, we still have 50 minutes since we started late. Yeah, it's one of the largest key goals. Uh, not too late. 4:30 in the morning. Oh. So yeah, we're well, we'll, we'll gonna. A bit too early by seagulls. Yep. Yeah, that's a gargoyle. Yep, got. I was honestly expecting to face the Miranda by now. No, you don't. On it. 
Okay. And for, uh, how many movements do you have? Do you say? Uh, we have 20 minutes since our late uh, since we started late. All right. I yep. hope I can stay away for that long. Let's see. Okay. We need to break through that. Of course, we need to get up there first. Oh, yeah. Caution. Just to clarify. Doom Slayer sighting uh, confirmed. Please save and exit your workspaces. Uh, <laughs> haven't we gotten that? Didn't we have that done before already? With a warning like that. Yeah, I think that's see what will happen. Uh, I'm not bored or anything. I'm just going a bit early. Yes. My boy already getting tired. Okay. They ain't swapped their stupid. Wait. Oh. Okay, did that a bit wrong, but okay. Oh, thank you. Pain Elemental. Ah, damn it. Okay, this is a severe debuff. Okay, at least it highlights the bastards. Face. Oh, hello. Damn it. Now, two of you. Floor ass kickings. No, no, no. Why does it swap to that? Oh, oh, really, is the zombie? That doesn't look like a zombie to me. Yep. Really, game? Like, I don't like that it'll auto switch to the BFG. Because that just wasted two shots. But not technically wasted, but I would rather have not used those shots. Nothing yeah, hidden. They are rare after all. Mm. Yeah, they're just okay. They're not on permanently, but. Mm. Yeah. It's the roly police. Okay. Find a way to 
activate the power in this part of the city. Okay, we're just going to punch a, <laughs> a train. Power restored. You should be able to continue towards the gate now. So did people know, did people know a riot soldier, indestructible shield, Azur? Really? You have to make a more annoying version of these assholes. Okay, at least they go down in one shot, it seems. I'll give them that. They balance that better... ...than some other things. There. I'm pretty sure we've hit 120 now. Deliver us from evil. It's the Slayer symbol. Still going to make them annoying as all hell, but they'll be less annoying to deal with than the normals. Than the normal ones. There. Also, as I was going to say, did they did they know that they were building a city on top of an ancient relic, or did they not? Yep. This again. I'm sure. Yep. Uh, where is the blast of thing? At least they announced their presence loudly. <laughs> There we go. Yep. Fuck off, dog oil. That's... Nope. Okay, apparently this guy doesn't count as another threat, but keep it going. Uh, let's see. Drop more armor, and if frozen, drop more health. Okay. Okay. No. 
there. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. It figures an even more difficult. Yep. It's basically a replacement for the Slayer Gate. Please report to Gate of the Boom Operation Center. Okay, that ex well, that says what it <laughs> that explains if they knew or not. They totally did. <laughs> okay. The Gate of the Boom. Built eons ago by the father, first, you know, the first deity of the makers, the Gate of the Boom was used to access the hidden city of Amora deep in the heart of hell. The father used the gate to travel into hell and oversee Amora, keeping personal watch over the dark city. The portal has been inactive since the Dark Lord was cast down by the father himself. Now dormant, it requires a tremendous energy source to reactivate. When the father willingly gave up his throne in, er, his throne in Urdak, and with the aid of his loyal servant Samir Maker, he was, he was deconstructed into the AI known as Vega. In this form, he obscured himself from the vision of the Dark Lord and maintained close watch over his creations on Earth. The Gate of the Womb remained, uh, remains unused and hidden from all who would seek to access the Dark Lord's realm. Okay. But how would they know about it since if it was aeons ago that it was closed off? Yeah, they need some research on it. Like, with, all, with the previous bits, there was always little nit bits about uh, translated from such and such. But this one didn't have that. But I'm guessing it was also translated from some codex or tablet from somewhere. Possibly. Again, I feel like these two definitely would have needed a bit more time to be polished and fleshed out a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. But again, as I said before, we cut, cut them some slack since it was released during the pandemic. Yeah. Okay, guess we're going for a swim. Yeah. Hmm. I've been thinking at times of redoing some games that we streamed before we started recording or uploading uh, to a YouTube and all. And one of those would be Crisis 3, or rather we start from the, well, the start with Crisis, then Crisis 2, and then Crisis 3. Yeah, and what was, I think it was also with one of the Soul Reaver games. Uh, we'll have to look into that. Yeah, we, if one of those is missing from the recordings, or yeah, for me, we probably we could be showcase that or play that. We got the idea to show it, upload it to YouTube. That might be most due to. I think that's uh, defiance, since that was the first one that we streamed. Yeah. Hmm. I'm a bit less uh, enthusiastic about redoing that one. The Chairman's Club, only Kane. Altman. There was one, but one of them I was not on, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Soul Reaver Defiance is... It can be a real drag in some places, so I'm a bit unsure if to redo that. Also, I'm pretty sure Altman is a name from Doom 3. Oh dear. So, so uh, no, there was one Soul Reaver game I was not on, which was probably the first one you streamed. Or I suggest you to stream it, and I watched it, and I also get this stock on one level for, for an hour. Then after that, I joined. Oh no, the next game, I think? Yeah, Defiance was the first one, so that would have been that one then. Not sure about redoing that one. Also, where the hell do we need to go? I 
this is locked of course, but I'm not seeing where we might do something to unlock it easy a little, a little marker here, to show here, here where I'm. would be nice game here I'm. I am I have here ask yourself this what would doom god do and he'd punch a hole for it, but that we can't actually do. Oh. Um, yeah, here. Okay, I, I'll put that on myself for just going around it constantly. Yep. Not fully wet. Oh, possessed pinky. Okay, that takes quite a lot. Yeah. That will also deal with you. So the better be a checkpoint so far. I'm, I'm falling asleep here. What is Eagles? Okay, it is almost time. Yeah. I start to understand more and more why I have slight dislike to seagulls. Yeah, or slight. You, you complain about or you warn about them at the end of every stream, or nearly every. Yeah, no, I, 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 I've been wondering where did I get it from? I understand more and more where the jokes come from now. <laughs> Okay, let's finish this fight, and then we'll probably get a save point. The Betrayal of the Father. Oh. Yes. Okay, Makers and Demons. Our research shows that Maker history and lore holds truths that are not consistent with passages found in Hellpriest's texts, revealing the true origins of Hell and all surrounding dimensions. This revelation would explain why hell, uh, why hell is the single dimension that connects to all others, and why it is the oldest in existence, the First World. In the beginning, the world of Jakkad, later, uh, <clears throat> later known as Hell, prospered under the guidance of their leader, Davoth. He longed to solve the, uh, the riddle of immortality for his people, an ability only he possessed. His efforts met with failure, as mortal flesh could not sustain the undying spirit. Using his unrivaled power, he crafted the Maker race to find a solution, their machine minds working in unison. Okay, so, yet yeah, the Makers are demons. They, they always were demons. The Volt was obsessed, uh, obsessed in his effort to eliminate death from the world of Jakkad. When the Makers discovered the secret of immortality, they deemed the knowledge too dangerous to share. Or rather, they were too arrogant and vain to share, probably. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for in their judgments, the Volt had come to be seen as an eventual threat to all life. They do have a point there. The Makers acted in secret and worked quickly to seal Jakkad away with the, and Davoth with it, while the records of Earth and death were rewritten to hide the truth. Not surprising there. Enraged, Davoth became the Dark Lord as vengeance and hatred consumed him and his world, transforming it into Hell. Okay, so the Makers... Oh. What? For a split second there, you might cracked. Okay, I'll have to look that up in the recording then. Uh, let's see. 204. <clears throat> okay. Now, to be honest, we probably should have been expecting that at least some of these data entries would be lying. Since, well... The... The Victor writes history and all that. Okay, it only survived that because of its second stage thing.
There we go. I see you there. Okay. It's not a checkpoint, apparently. Aim. It was a checkpoint. I want to brush my teeth and sleep. Attention. Power activated for city subsection. Oh, come on. Mm. One of those again. Thank you. I do wish uh. we should be able to save whenever we want. Yeah. Uh, this way. Well, I'll be doing quite the old time. Checkpoints? Okay. <laughs> then... What? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, I get the feeling we'll definitely be finishing this next time. So, after that, we will be moving on to Dawn of War. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and unlocking all sorts of stuff here. Plump. <laughs> okay, that is <laughs> simple, but pretty cool. Or rather hot. Oh, you <laughs> gods. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dawn of War. I'm still a bit unsure on if to do Winter Assault. From, I've, from what I've heard, it is considered the best of the expansions of Dawn of War 1. Uh, but I... Hmm. Okay. Either we would do both campaigns, uh, because they, they it's actually pretty short, like five missions each, but those five missions can go on for quite some time. And in some of those, it's because your resource acquisition gets nerfed beyond uh, below what is actually shown as what you gain. So... I'm leaning against uh, doing <coughs> Winter Assault. <coughs> and that's an issue, only as you use sheets. Hmm. I wouldn't want to do that specifically. We we managed to get through Impossible Creatures eventually without cheats. Well, we did cheese things by starving the enemy out of their resources, but that's a legit tactic in RTS games. Yeah, I think it was one or two levels we did end up having to cheat due to the enemy was clearly cheating. Mm, I don't remember, but that was like a year or <laughs> ago or so. Uh, it, it was the one where they kept spawning all of the horde extremely fast. Even though they barely had resources left to do so. Hmm. Uh, I don't was, remember if we cheated or not. I think we actually ended up being on that mission for two episodes or three. Uh, I know with the one mission we did take, it did take multiple streams to finally get through, but we did eventually get through. I just don't remember oh, yeah. if we used cheats or not. You did, for you were so <laughs> pissed off. Okay. Rightfully so. Uh, yeah. Anyways, for now though, let's go look who is online to raid. If a certain someone is still, yes, they are still online. I. Th <laughs> okay. Let me change the screen share. Uh, Discord there. Let's change the screen share to Twitch. There we go. Okay. Uh, still, to give everyone their shots, we have Black Shadow, who is streaming the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a sort of like a Dead by Daylight, but it's actually four survivors against three of the family. Uh, Nico is doing art. Hisaya Rozier, who I really want to raid, is streaming Dave the Diver. Then we have Jimmy McGinger with Tolio. I think they've been streaming that mostly lately. Kordos is streaming Fortnite. Graham the Wolf uh, with Neo. I'm a Flanker is playing Ready or Not. Kevin I is streaming Baldur's Gate 3. Touch Scaly Tail with Remnant 2. And Smoops on the Nonsense with Dwarf Romantic. 
Uh, I remember the name. I forget just what the game is about and such. Let me take a peek. Uh, All right, it's a it's a sort of civilization like game or civilization settlers of Catan sort of stuff. <clears throat> And last but not least, we have Halloween with Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. Just how long is this game? <laughs> They've been at it for quite a while, I think. Or is, is it a branching storyline thing or something, maybe? Either way. Uh, Hisaya Rosier for Dave the Diver, or... I say Dave the Diver. Okay. Copy the name, head to our place... And slash rate paste, but before we start, first off, I turn off caps lock. Apparently, I hit that at some point. Uh, yeah, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Glacier Boy. And thank you, as always, Drake here. You're welcome, as always, my friend. And yeah, likely we'll be finishing, uh, we'll be finishing up with uh, Doom Eternal on Thursday. Uh, there should not be anything that gets in the way. Then we have our youth, then we'll have our weekend stuff in well the weekend. But the week after, I like, well, I won't be able to stream because then I'll be off to London with the family for a four day vacation. Uh, it was originally planned to be a long weekend vacation, but things got moved back to, well, the main week of the, at the end of the month. <clears throat> All right. So I guess we'll be streaming again, uh, having weekend stream when you return. Yep. Uh, depending and, on how you return, of course. Yeah, and then we'll uh, <clears throat> we'll start with Dawn of War One in the next month. Boy. But yeah, for now, let's start at raids. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and flick the seagulls the finger. <laughs>